Hey guys, Brett here, welcome back to Farming Summer 2019. Here we are for another episode back in Ravenport for our Seasons 19 series. We're going to um, do a bit more mowing today. I know you guys are probably like, oh, God's sake, more mowing. Yeah, I know. Um, the weather gods weren't kind to us last time, so we're going to have to do a bit of mowing today and hopefully try and make some hay while the sun shines, as they say. So now. Animals are doing pretty well. Um, I have since been told that straw. We don't need straw unless it's winter time. If we have straw, we produce manure, as you can see here. If we don't have straw on the ground, it produces slurry. So that's going to save me a whole heap of um, whole heap of bales because you know I'm just throwing straw bales at these guys all the time and. Um, I think I'm down to my last straw bale, so we need to wait for these other fields, especially this field over here, to um, be ready to harvest, and then we can get some straw bales, fingers crossed. Alright, so, we need to start mowing, so I need to work out what we're going to do. We need to mow this field, we need to mow this field, we sort of need to mow both, so, if I come up here, up here somewhere and start up here. Then we should be all right. right. So let's go start course recording. Beautiful. Start mowing. You see now we've got some dry grass. So thank God for that. Dry grass is what we need. Don't have to tether it. Just mow it. It's already dry. Fingers crossed. There's no rain coming. There's no rain today. Um, it's perfect for drying, except for a little bit of time tonight, closer to midnight, it's going to be cool. And I think that's not going to be, you know, ideal for, you know, drying grass to turn into hay, but there's no rain forecast today or tomorrow, which is going to be good. So I sort of just need to go around this field and get all this cut, get the other field cut as well, and, um, Hopefully, this dries and start to make some hay bales. So I said, I know you guys have seen a fair bit of um, mowing and stuff already, but seasons 19, you know, mowing is a huge part of the game with us needing to have bales and all that sort of stuff. So I do apologise. It probably is a little bit frustrating for you guys, but certainly does need to happen so so just gonna have to sort of suck it up bear with me and um, get through it once we get past this past this stage where I've got all the courses recorded and that sort of stuff and you guys won't have to come back and watch me mow all the time which will be better for you guys of course Run down this side of the field, we're going to have to do another run back up. Back down that other side, I suppose. Just swing around this way. We'll run down here, you can see where I've leveled out all the grass here. It's got to be repainted with grass so it'll grow again. I need to try not to run over the crop too much and damage it should damage the crop but then again you never know I suppose. Um, you can see on our other field, fields of canola, there's a couple of spots where over there um, our crops withered, over here there's a fair few spots on this side where the crops withered so fortunately I don't know if it's the cold weather that's got to it or something else but yeah we've, we've lost a little bit of a little bit of crop in both those fields. I mean, it's not a massive amount, and they're only tiny fields anyway, so it's not going to make a massive difference. But they were both canola, canola crops, so that's they're our money makers. So we try not to lose any of those crops would be nice, but unfortunately, with seasons 19, as you guys are well aware, we have no control over how our crops do, whether they they thrive or they don't thrive. It's Completely out of our control. So these guys are just about ready to harvest. I 
think a couple more days and they'll be ready to harvest. But our other two fields should be you know, a few more days behind that, I would think. So there's a couple of spots here, as you can see, where it's all died. It's all withered away, unfortunately. There's plenty of silage bales in that shed, as you can see. We've got many got many hay bales left or um, straw bales but I'm hoping we can change that to be careful here because I think some of these crops you can actually use a mower and actually mow the crop just possibly wheat I think so we need to be careful not to actually drive over the crop and destroy it the mowers. So we should get a decent amount of hay out of both these big grass areas. Areas. Um, still going to turn them into bales for now. I know we could probably could get the hay barn and just collect it straight away. See once it's hay, not dry grass. Collect it and um, put it into like, the hay loft or a hay barn, which I think we'll probably. Probably can look at that a little bit later on. I just like the idea of because of seasons mode, having bales everywhere. You know, in real life, from as far as I know, you know, all farmers have bales. I don't think I've seen any farmers in my local area that have like big hay barns where they put all their their straw and hay and all that sort of stuff. So I know we're backtracking on ourselves a lot here, but we probably can't. Can't really have avoid that at all, I don't think. So this area here, I said I need to either repaint with grass or paint with the dirt texture, just to change it up a little bit. It's part of the disease crop, dead crop, whatever you may want to call it. So a couple more runs through here, and then we'll go and go around our other field over there. To wait for it to to dry, as I said, which probably will be tomorrow, and then come back and windrow it, turn it all into to bales and that sort of stuff, and hopefully we'll get a huge amount. We're not going to get as many hay bales as we have silage bales. We've got like 50 silage bales or something crazy over there, so definitely not going to have that much. But hopefully we get decent amount. So we might as well cut this area too. Sort of a massive amount of grass is going to come out of it, but it's more grass than we have now. Cut alongside our silo here as well. It will cut it's on a weird sort of angle there. I'm sure I'll cut this little area and we can concentrate on going around our other field. That'll do. Let's head down this way. Bounce off the shed there. I sort of wanted this trailer out of the way. Let's see if I can go and see if we can push it out of the way. like that, that'll work. Should have come back and moved it before I decided to start mowing. I knew it was going to be in the way, I just completely forgot. Alright, so down to there, I'm not going to run through the other side of the field because we may run over, have to run over the, the field itself and destroy part of the crops with our tyres. And straight up this hill. Let's go straight up, do this little bit here on this side, and then we'll work across the top, down the other side, and that sort of thing. As you guys know, with it being you know, not a big square area, it's hard to set up a proper course to actually mow it properly. It's not the easiest thing to set up and sort of be 
be efficient, I suppose. There's a decent amount of grass, as you can see, especially up around this top area here. Compared to those other fields, it's sort of just little tiny bits over there, but it's all going to add up in the long run. Just trying to run up this hill a little bit. So at least if I can get this course recorded. Be able to just hire someone to do this while we're doing other stuff. If I've got other stuff to do, not have to worry too much about actually mowing. Have you guys sitting here watching me mow in an episode after episode, which I know you guys are probably frustrated with, as I said. So today's um, my last day at home before I head back to work again. So I'm hoping to get probably another. Another two or three episodes recorded after this one, so for those of you who don't know, hopefully most of you probably know by now, but I work um, away for a week, home for a week in the mining industry, so with YouTube I sort of need to come home on my week off. Um, I get three three days, maybe four days to myself over those that week at home, so I spend those three or four days pretty much just recording as much content as I can for our channel to make sure you guys have got something to watch while I'm away and, and working hard. So if you guys comment on this episode and I don't reply for a week or so, it's probably just because I'm away at work. It's not because I'm you know, ignoring you guys or anything. It's just the whole work thing. Been away from home for that whole week. Alright, so I said we'll get this top part done, then we can worry about that other side bit. There's an awful lot of grass up here, so this, this is really going to bring in a heap of hay, I hope. I'm not sure exactly how many bales we'll get, but the other fields that I need to go by, we should at least get, I don't know, 25 bales or so. A full trailer load, hopefully, so 24 bales. Be wonderful. He's got the other sides down there to do, and then we might just have to skip time and hope that it dries properly. Nothing more frustrating if we did all this and and the weather gods didn't like us again. I need to cut that tree down with this course recording. It's gonna make us come unstuck every time. Right, there we go. So I know there's new versions of course play out, but I don't know if they've fixed the problem yet where we can just download it, put it straight in and it works straight away. When I did get this course play working, there was a file that you had to go in and edit to actually get course play to show up in FS19 in game. So I'm not sure if he's rectified that situation or not, so I'm going to have to have a look at that. Um, over the next next few hours, I suppose, and try and try and update the course play to the latest the latest version. I think this is quite an old version, to be honest. Can we get all this. We should be able to get all this in one foul swoop. I hope. Maybe not quite that little bit there, but swing around and get that. See, I'm hoping to get the latest version of course play up and running and I mean this version I haven't had any drums with this version so I don't really need to change but I'd like to just keep things updated just in case there's some new some new content in the newer versions that might benefit us a little bit. So I've got these tiny little bits down the bottom to do and then we're finished. We can try and skip through and hope that there's no rain. We'll, uh, I'll show you guys the forecast once we finish mowing and um, hopefully we'll be okay. Everything's at a plus for drying except for one three hour period where it's it's not at a minus it's just at a, at a zero which means it's not going to dry nor get wet so 
fingers crossed. Won't have any issues. There's a barn there. I can half our buildings. They end up with holes in them while us banging off them all the time. One more run up, one more run back down, I think. It's going to be quite a slow trip up this hill. Try not to mow over these rocks. I don't think the mole would like that at all. Probably could have smoothed this land out a little bit before we turn it into grass, but it's just more money that we really don't have for and landscaping and stuff, so sort of just have to deal with it. So we'll do a quick run down here, quick turn around. I think that'll do us. Stop here, go stop, go farm, mo. Yeah, save it at that. That, that. Hold you up. Put these guys away. Let's pump our speed up now. We'll see if we can... Fingers crossed. Allow this to dry out enough. To be able to come back and wind roll it as well. Oop, that's not what I wanted. So I want to go and sit over, over here in this barn so we can sort of keep an eye on it. So these cows are all pretty happy and well fed. We do have the water pump in there as well. If you guys have said that we needed the water pump. I had some more issues with um, that front loader attachment um, straw blower. It just kept coming up as having nothing in it when I had the bale in it. So. I've leased this little Anderson Pro Chop 150. This guy seems to be working really, really well. So, all right, we'll just skip through time and um, hope this grass changes. I'll show you guys the forecast. So today, oh, that's gone to minus. That was just a zero before. Hopefully there's no rain. So these two pluses from somewhere from here till nine o'clock. We can hope this dries, but these weather gods come in and start to cause some dramas. I won't be impressed. Here comes the cloud. As you can see, the cloud's rolling through. We need that cloud to go and bring back the, the sunshine. I could sit here and watch this all day. This cloud texture, the weather is just awesome. A little bit concerned now that it might start to rain, and if it does, we're not going to get any hay bales at all. All this grass will be destroyed. That's a little bit, um, a little bit concerning. It's not dry yet. So coming up till eight o'clock at night. It's still not dry. If it's not dry by 9 o'clock, then we'll sleep through. Oh no. Oh. Wow, this is really frustrating. You can see now that all those pluses have now all gone to minuses. The whole way through. So you can pretty much say that these hay bales are not going to happen yet again. Very, very frustrating. There we go, 83% says nearly ready to harvest, but this this hay is just not going to happen, I don't think. Let's run down to the house. Wait till 10 o'clock, then we'll skip through 9 hours, bring us back at 7 a.m. There we go. Skip through, let's go to nine hours. 
And it's probably going to rain. Seven a.m. Still, oh no, there's it says it's going to dry a little bit. Fingers crossed. Might still get some hay here. Changes all the time. That's a bit of hay there. Look at that. That's all we need. We need the rest of the field to turn like that too. Let's come over here and have a look. Still the same. Now, are you ready to harvest? That's the question. 83% still, so not quite. The quickest way is probably just to look in here, as you can see. Still waiting for this to dry enough. So we've got water in there. We're going to not worry about the straw. Total mix ration, hay and silage, we can do all that. Just leave a, a silage bale sitting over there and it should work. There's our water pump pumping away. The size is giving them a little bit of water, but not too much. Um, 4,500 for these guys. It's pretty good. I don't know if we've had any calves yet. We'll have to and see what time is this rain due? 3 o'clock. Let's hope this dries before 3 o'clock. Alright, so let's have a look at the prices. Have a look at our uh, limousines. See, so the price is sort of up or down a little bit. This is the new update for Seasons Mod, so the prices have pretty much doubled, if not tripled. Alright, beautiful. Have a look at this. Do we have any... Any newborns? I think it should be 0 0.1 years somewhere. Well, these could be the new, the new ones actually, the new calves. It says they're one year old, so they might just come straight to one years old. I haven't had any milk as yet. Um, I wish it sort of had the male to female ratio was 0 0.1 years. Actually, no, I think these guys that are 500 kilo, 500 kilos are probably the ones that are brought. So there's one here at 0 0.1. This top one, we're still waiting on to have a baby. Um, baby calf. There's rain coming and it's not dry yet. Come on, hey. Need to wait for it to dry, it's just not really not happening. If it starts to rain, we're really going to be in trouble. Oh, this is this could be life and death for some farmers, to be honest, but for us, it's probably not, not life and death. We do have. Some bales down there, probably 10 or so hay bales, so we probably have enough to get through winter, but I don't want to just have to have enough to get through when I want to have a surplus. I want to have extra, I don't know if we can see how many we've got down there. Fair few, here come the dark, dark clouds. I know I could go through and turn these into silage bales, but really don't want to. It's going to rain for quite some time and it's going to dry again. Dry, dry. Uh, let's hope the forecast is wrong, but I don't think it's going to be. Come on. Come on, hey. No, there we go. We sit here and watch it rain, you'll see that this dry grass will no longer be dry grass and it will just start to disappear. Which is really, really frustrating. Maybe. It should. It should be disappearing. It's not as yet, but I know it probably will. Ah, oh, bugger. This is really, really frustrating. I don't know why the 
the grass would disappear when it's raining. I don't think it would do that in real life. I don't think. I think it should stay, but maybe just turn it back into wet grass again. Have to come back and through and tether it. Would be what I think should happen, but... It's not my mod, and, you know, I can't really do anything about that, so... Paint through there to get rid of that. Let's paint through here. Not going to cost us anything. Let's try and find this correct dirt texture, which I think is this one. There we go. Get that all through the front here. It's cost us a little bit of money, but I don't mind. There we go. So I don't think this is going to happen. I don't think we're going to get any hay. Um, our crops still... Well, it's now going to be too wet, 24%. So this should really turn back into, into normal grass. Unless the season's... Reali realism... I think it's Realism US. Realism US has changed it now so the grass doesn't actually disappear during the rain. It just does not dry. Tons, tons and tons of bales in here. Can't pick it up, it's too heavy. Alright, so we go back down here. Wait till 9 o'clock and then we might sleep through the night again. And hope that either our crops are ready to harvest or our grass has turned into hay. I don't think it's turned back to wet grass yet, which is a surprise. It probably should. I kind of expected it to to disappear a little bit. But, well, there goes that. We're still... Oh, now it's minuses again. Really frustrating. Alright, come back into here. We'll sleep for 10 hours this time, because it's 9 o'clock. We're in a little bit of debt at the moment, so we need to try and rectify that situation. Still... Still just don't have any hay yet, except for this little patch. Everything else is still not growing properly. Let's, um, let's take out a little bit of a loan just to give ourselves a little bit of money. This grass is still here. Ready to harvest. Look at that. Now, it's, unfortunately, it's just too bloody wet now. Both ready to go, but both just too wet. So, let's have a look through to our soil composition. We've got a little bit of weed over on this field. Down the end here somewhere. So let's slow the speed down a little bit. Let's try and find there we go, our other tractor. So I used this guy earlier. That's why he's got the care wheels on again. Check. Yeah, just making sure I have my timer going. Seems like we've been playing for. Actually, I don't think we're going to be able to spray that because it's pretty much the field's pretty much grown. I think that little spot with weeds, we're not going to be able to do anything about. Which is down the other end of the field here. Here somewhere. Can't even see it. We're right on top of it. Should be here somewhere. I don't think it's gonna disappear. Oh no, it did. Good, perfect. That's what we want. There's nothing over there, there's nothing else on this side, so there we go. Alrighty guys, what I'll do is I'll skip through time and I guess we'll come back next episode when we're gonna do some a little bit more harvesting. Hopefully, um, make some sales and get a little bit more, a little bit more money in our account because we're kind of really, really, really short of funds again. Our crops are growing well, we're just still waiting for this, this grass to turn into hay, which I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon, so continue to wait. We may just have to come back and, um, 
may just have to come back and like re-mow again when the time comes so right out guys if you guys enjoyed this one as always smash that like button leave a comment let me know what you think of the series so far what else you would like to see if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet guys please do so it's been Bruno thanks for watching see you again soon